We just love it here. It's very, very special. It's unique. There's nothing I, there was nothing in Tucson like it at all. And anywhere else I've ever looked in other states, there's nothing to compare. We love it here. I'm here not because I've lived here forever, but because I wanted to. My husband was the project manager for Mission Viejo and built 800 homes here. And I had seven children with this man and thought this would be an ideal place to live. My oldest daughter, Kathy, was the first lifeguard at the half Olympic pool here. Uh, we have lived here for 39 years and two days. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, but who's counting? Yeah, but who's counting? We moved into our house on the 21st of January, 1972, on Crow's Nest. And that was the last street in the first section. <laughs> and there was a big billboard on the highway, just as we were coming into South Phoenix, that said the lakes. And I said, gee, that looks good. Why don't we just pull down baseline and we'll go over and see what it looks like? <laughs> <laughs> so just to go to the waterfront, remember the waterfront years ago? They had the best margaritas and we'd come out and sit. But I just don't have the incentive to move. I'll stay. No one's going to get rid of me because my granddaughter, who's 17, is now saying, if I go to ASU, Graham, may I live with you? And then she's also told me, I like the house, I like everything. You know? It'd be a good investment for me. I purchased my home in 1989, and when I purchased it, I had no idea what a great place this was. I had looked at other houses, and I said to the real estate lady, oh, I think when I retire, I really want to live on the water. And she said to me, I have just the place for you. So I looked at about eight houses on the, in the lakes, some on the water, some off, and I walked into my house on Lamplighter, and my daughter looked at me and she said, Oh, Mom, this has got your name all over it. <laughs> and I bought it that day. And I'm not as long a resident, but we came in April 86. It was good day. We got here in 86 uh, and, and uh, found the place because uh, I was a doctoral candidate in Tucson and I was sent up here for a uh, hypnosis conference. And, uh, stopped at Wendy's and there were two blue circles on the map and, and the street said Lake Shore. We said, what is this in the desert? Two blue circles. <laughs> and of course that says Lake Shore. So we drove up here. We had, uh, our kids were four and one or five and two. And uh, we drove and saw pine trees and water and we're both from New York State. And it was like, <laughs> what is this? And uh, the next, oh, actually, I think that was the day we continued to drive through Lakeshore and, still, and saw the Grover School and stopped at Grover School. Had a big, funny Ford van and a cat. Turned the key off and the van would not start again. <laughs> that was it. We were here for three days, uh, not in the van. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but we did have the car towed and found ourselves in a hotel. People I was coming to work for uh, basically came over and rescued us. Um, and we started looking for a home here and found something for rent. Uh, and, and it was right off of the rapids, and those of you know how pretty the rapids are and the sound. We had been living in 450 square feet of a graduate student housing. Five years <laughs> with two kids and a cat. Uh, and a but um, this place looked like we were back in a real civilization. Large, large, beautiful pine trees and animals. We've looked around, but we can never find anything to match this. Uh, so we keep staying. <laughs> we can't imagine, like I said, being anywhere else. We still just absolutely love living there and to to us, to me, and we actually we were just talking about it this morning so I can say us, uh, it's an oasis. 
I have never been happier. And now that I'm here, I love my first husband again. (laughs) 